I'm trying to get my Twitter game up. So if you guys could do me a quick favor and go follow the Twitter, it's Dapper Darius, just like everything else. Links are in the description. I much appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with the final season of Attack on Titan, season four, episode 20. Last episode, cliffhanger of all cliffhangers. After what was some of the craziest plot twists in anime, not just Attack on Titan, in anime history, we have Zeke who triple crossed Eren, who is using the founding Titan's power, their heads connected. He didn't really blame Eren for Eren double crossing him. He said he was brainwashed due to their father's negligence and stuff like that, so. I have no idea where this is going to go, what's going to happen. I just know that people say somehow that we have not hit peak attack on Titan yet. It gets even crazier and more insane, which I cannot fathom. So I have to find out what happens. Don't forget if you guys want to watch the full length version of this show, this episode, or the early access and full length of any of the other shows I'm watching, all that is available on the Patreon. Links are in the description down below. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Much, much appreciated. Follow all the social medias, like I said earlier, guys. I much appreciate that. Instagram as well, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this, Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 20. This one is called, let me see if I can find it. This one's called Memories of the Future. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> Let's do this. I know birds have had a huge symbolism in Attack on Titan so far. Birds escaping their cage, becoming free, freedom in general. Is this a baby Eren? Is this that looks like a baby Eren? Is this Grisha and Eren, and it's Zeke and Eren watching them. Does Zeke have the power to do whatever he wants like this? We can just scour through all of Dad's memories. So he's pulling a... He's pulling a Scrooge on him, showing him the days of Christmas past, you know? I'll show you as much as it takes, whatever to change your mind. We do know his ulterior motives at this point, yes. They are literally, there's Hanna's, oh, I miss you, RIP, man. We're watching literally so much, and such a close-up perspective as well, the boy Kenny. Oh, this is the church, right? This is Rice's church. Yep, that's why he was gone. He came back to be so distraught about what happened to Carla and everything like that. Wait. He found it right now, but the day the walls were attacked were years from now? He found it this early? But he loved Eren so much he couldn't go through with the plan? What is Zeke thinking? Because that is a much different face than what he had with Zeke. That sure is what it's seeming like right now. Mm. You know he regrets that. I mean, come on, Zeke. You can't think he truly just would despise you and throw you to hell. Wait. What the hell? What kind of time fourth meta wall breaking shit is this? Yeah, what the hell? And now Aaron's the one saying, let's go. It's affecting Zeke more. All right, episode 79 total memories of the future. Nine years old. This is relatively, this would be shortly before season one, right? A bird from the moment I was born. Yeah, both Zeke and Grisha had the same face, realizing what Aaron did at that age, you know? Damn. <laughs> yeah, he's not letting anyone take their freedom, his freedom. I love that. I appreciate mm. That's always been Aaron. He's not wrong. Aaron is calling it like he is seeing it. He is not afraid to speak his mind. 
Mmm, the first time he gave her that scarf. One, I want to know Aaron thought of that moment. Yeah, I'm curious what he means by the world. Obviously, he means the utilization plan, but and Aaron. That key was so pivotal to Attack on Titan's story for so long. Oh, I wanted to say Aaron. This is episode one, right? If I remember correctly. This is such a throwback, it's crazy. And I... This is literally episode one. But I've said this multiple times throughout the, se the season, but seeing where we started in season one till now is such an eye-opener. But actually physically having our characters be present in this is... And now we actually get to see some of the... Oh. Mm -hmm. Seeing the conclusive proof of what Grisha was looking for, you know? Seeing the hints, the details that Sayama put in the show is amazing. And we get to do it live. We'll be for nothing. 100% agree. I love what Aaron said back in the day. And now knowing about the Eldian urge to see the open world, you know, see what's out there. It's so crazy seeing both of them behind him in this scene. This was such a crazy moment. That's the that's the vow right now. That's the vow. To a certain extent, I understand that, but it's crazy hearing the it, what feels like the physical words of the original king, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's why it sounds so crazy. Yes. He did, but we've also gone through a lot since then. That is true. Like, it is kind of a fucked up, horrible situation, you know? Yeah, right? How is that atonement? The ignorant? Yeah. If we remain ignorant and accept the world's hatred... Wow. I honestly understand... And Aaron hated that answer so much. <laughs> oh, just like Grisha. Yes. Yes. Are we finally gonna know? Because I don't think we've ever been officially told, right? To fight the king's self-righteousness. Is that the whole point of the Attack Titan? As Aaron walks... Is that why Aaron Kruger was like to save Armin, Mikasa, all them and... I know, we finally know! We never knew the Attack Titan's power special abilities to stop the king's self-righteousness. We can see the future. Now I'm so confused. For a second there, I was like, he's worried about these kids. He truthfully doesn't want to kill these kids, but he knows he has to. And the fact that he actually physically didn't, I thought at the end of the day he did. Yeah, that's what I've known and accepted this, this whole time. Wow. That is the... Oh my god, that shot. Everything. Re reaffirming his resolve. Even if you die. Even after death. That's such an errant thing to say. You keep moving forward. Oh my god, bro. This episode. Oh my... I don't want to pause it because it's just giving me literal chills right now. But is this the story of Attack on Titan? Like, in terms of time travel like i've seen very few time travel stories in my life but in the ones that i do in terms of when people go to the past it always ends up being that way you know in harry potter prisoner rascaman he sees something in the past then when he goes back in the past you see something in the present time then when he goes back in the past and he does it it plays out exactly how it did because that's how things were always meant to play out so when grisha originally stole 
the founding like is it changed to this like is this an updated version of that or was Aaron in the future always going back and talking to him reaffirming his reasoning as to why he's doing this then like you kids get what i'm saying right and if there's not an answer i'm completely cool with that because this is supposed to be like beyond normal human comprehension like these are powers literally beyond you know what i'm trying to say so i'm completely cool with not being able to fully get the answers i'm looking for i'm just curious as to how it works this show this episode oh my god that was aaron in historia yes and he did murder all of them oh my god seeing the amount of shit grisha went through So it's like Aaron wanted Grisha to do this the whole time type shit in terms of like, I have because he know he knows he can see. So I need to know in terms of what future, because he can see the future of who inhabit his Titan in the future. So that would be Aaron. So what of Aaron's memories does he see? Oh my God. So far, it's been Zeke who. Oh, what? Of what comes next? I. This Attack on Titan continues to show me things I never would have ever, ever, ever thought I'd see on screen. And Grisha actively re repenting and apologizing, saying how much of a horrible father he was. And just consoling into his son. And Zeke has been... My, his face is mine the entire episode. Just flabbergasted. Even Zeke's crying. This is so deep to him. I have no idea what to even say or how to begin to process this episode. It was all flashbacks, but current, but past, but future, but things we've never known, what things we've known all this, the whole time, you know? From starting to the day that Aaron was born, up until, like, in, in terms of them actually spending years in this world, I firmly believe... It might have not been every day they watched, but they spent years going through these memories because time is infinite and an instant right now. So from the day he was born up until he was a small child, seeing Grisha's background plan the whole time of what he's meant to do, to him not doing it out of his love for Eren, to realizing Eren is truly an Eldian and reaffirming that resolve to him going and seeing the plan that we've known the whole time, like I said, but then... Aaron intruding on that plan and then us learning the information that the attack titan can see the future the memories of the future and hip inhabit uh, part, uh, holders of the power and in doing so Aaron showed grisha some memories saying this is what needs to be done you must do this so that's my point has this been a long round full circle thing set up by Aaron, like from his early childhood, all this happened because the later Aaron came back, told Grisha to do this, so it would end up like, this blows my mind even trying to process this. But from that, and then it went, and Zeke, Grisha seeing Zeke, and like I said, trying to repent, trying to apologize, trying to console and just talk to his son from as from a father's perspective emotionally, but saying that he knows what Aaron is doing is terrible, horrible, and wrong, and Aaron has all the power somehow, and then it kicked Zeke out of this memory thing saying, oh, Aaron was in control this whole, I like, what? I'm so be all, like, there's Lost, and then there's like, if you guys could give me a map, like, that's how Lost I am, I don't even know what fucking continent i'm in right now i just got sucked in by a mana disaster and now i'm in the demon continent if you guys get that reference but holy sh what is going on the facial expressions this episode were the best i've ever seen him in attack on titan the things aaron had on his face zeke's flabbergastedness i don't even know if that's a word the whole time um grisha's uh, 
between his shock, between his despair, and between his guilt and remorse after what he felt like he had to do because Aaron, his son, in the few like, how do we even process that? And, and I like how the hints were even there for that. How Aaron Kruger, when he first gave Grisha the Attack Titan, was like, "Yeah, you got to do this to save Armin and Mikasa." And Grisha was like, "Who the fuck are Armin and Mikasa? What?" And he's like, "You know what? I don't know. That's weird." So it's like this episode was insane. And I love how we got to see the exact same clip from season one, episode one. You know, Aaron wants to be a scout and his mom. For, oh, my God. It's such so good. It's so good the way Isayama shows us how where we started to where we are now, how things change, how it's full circle, the hints like, oh, my God, it's so well done masterfully. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. I am just, oh my god. I don't know how many episodes we have left, but this is only getting crazier and crazier. I, don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.